Hello and welcome to News in Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Beji Kaad Asebsi, marking his country's Republic Day. His Majesty expressed good wishes on the occasion and for the Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, also sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Beji Kaid Al Sebsi on the occasion of his country's Republic Day, wishing Tunisia and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to his counterpart, Al Habib Al Seed, marking the national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today the Shura Council Speaker a number of MPs and state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain will remain a safe country despite all attempts to destabilise it, citing the patriotism of the people who have managed to foil numerous bids to harm the kingdom's security, stability and unity. He said that political and economic changes had strengthened the resolve to achieve goals of development and progress. His Royal Highness highlighted the necessity for increasing meetings between the executive and legislative authorities to discuss ways of meeting the peace pool's aspirations. He noted the significant role of the legislative authority in the kingdom's prosperity, stressing that providing the people with the best living standards is a top priority for the government. He pledged to follow up on all projects across the kingdom in order to fulfil citizens' hopes of a brighter future. The Prime Minister explained that his directives to government ministries and bodies are focused on accelerating completion of services and development projects and on increasing communication with the people to listen to their needs.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired at Gudabia Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. The cabinet expressed hope that the 27th Arab League summit in Nouakchott would help to boost Arab cooperation at a time when countries in the region are facing a difficult time, in particular the threat of terrorism and interference in Arab affairs. The meeting also denounced the recent criminal act against a shopping mall in Munich, which caused a number of casualties. It expressed condolences to Germany and condemned any act that harms the security and safety of innocent civilians. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all ministries and government bodies to clearly and thoroughly respond to all complaints issued in the press. He directed stricter monitoring and procedures to prevent any medical mistakes and to identify them in case they happen in accordance with the rules. He also directed a stronger mechanism for recording medical mistakes and dealing with them both in public and private establishments. The Cabinet then discussed a number of issues on its agenda. It expressed satisfaction with implementation of the Government Action Plan 2015 to 2016's projects as the Cabinet followed up progress of 365 national projects, of which 135 have been completed and 217 are still in progress. The meeting approved a draft law to accredit a protocol to amend an agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Morocco on avoiding double taxation and preventing income tax evasion. The Cabinet also discussed a proposal to issue a quarterly motorsports magazine and assigned the Ministry of Information to coordinate with the relevant authorities in this regard. It transferred to the Representatives Council a draft law on amending some provisions of the Social Security Law. The Cabinet also discussed a number of proposals presented by the Representatives Council. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Amman bin Hamid Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Bayji Khayyad Al Sebsi, marking his country's Republic Day, wishing Tunisia and its people further progress and prosperity. Representing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa arrived in the Mauritanian capital last night to head Bahrain's delegation to the 27th Arab League Summit meeting, which began today in the Mauritanian capital, Nouakchott. He was welcomed at the airport by the Mauritanian Prime Minister, Yaha Weldhad Amin, and the Arab League Secretary General, Ahmed Abulgate. The Deputy Prime Minister met with the Mauritanian President, Mohamed Weld Abdelaziz, in the VIP hall in Nouakchott Airport and conveyed to him greetings from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty's thanks for inviting him to attend the summit. They also reviewed issues of common interest and matters relating to the Arab summit's agenda. It's time for the latest business news with Danielle. And Danielle, the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, big developments there. Indeed, there is no summer slowdown there, Esther. That's all coming right up. Good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, today inaugurated a new and improved client care centre at its headquarters, Beit Al Tajar. The facilities, now located on the third floor, are three times larger than previous and offer additional customer oriented services to streamline processes for small and medium enterprises operating in the kingdom. Here today, they can sit. We can accommodate up to 30 people here in a suite of three, sitting all of them comfortably. Number one. Number two, when you come in, there is a help desk, which we did not have before. You come, go to the help desk, and they will tell you which counter to go to. Number three, 
before you move to the counter, they will check your documentation. Before you stand in line and then be told, sorry, your documentations are not full, or you still need to do things with your documentation. You have to present more documentation. Today, they will check it for you. They will tell you your documentations are perfect. Please go to next, or please go and bring these documents. So you'd be saving time and not standing here to be frustrated when you reach to your point. Number four, there are other people that if you, do, if you have, need more helps about information, today we have a desk that will give you more information about your business. Additionally, Second Vice Chairman of the BCCI, Abdul Hamid Al Khahiji, revealed some other major projects that are currently in the pipeline to support and bolster private sector activity. Very soon we will be opening new incubators in here purposely for this kind of business, for the small and medium enterprises. And most important, from next month, from August, we will be online. So even if from August you don't need or you prefer to do everything online, you don't need to come here. You can do everything online. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,155.87 points. That's a decrease of 4.89 points below yesterday's closing level. The fall occurred in the commercial banking, services and industrial sectors, although investors did still mainly trade in commercial banking shares at 62% of total share value traded. In total today, there were 52 transactions involving a volume of 2,458,914 shares worth 550,088 Bahraini dinars.